Hi, Tony here from Trachtenberg Speed Map. Today we're going to have a look at fast division using two digit divisors. When looking at the fast division, there's a couple of terms that we need to, to learn because we'll be doing a number of one digit by one digit multiplications. The N, T and U represent parts of those results of the multiplication. The N is the number or whole result, as in both digits of the result. T is the tens digit of the result, and U is the units or ones digit of the result. There's also an NT product, which is the N value plus the T value. We'll have a quick look at an example. Here we're looking at 64 times 3. The NT product is the N value added to the T value from a set of multiplications. Let's have a look at an example. Here we have 64 times 3, but we're actually going to treat it as 6 times 3 and 4 times 3. So for the 6 times 3 is 18, and we want the n value of this particular one, so we want the whole 18. Now for the 4 times 3 is 12, but for this one we only want the tens result. Now to get the nt product, we add the n value and the t value together. So we have 18 plus 1 is 19. So the nt product is 19. Now on top of this, we also have a u value. And so for the 3 times 4 is 12, the u value in this case is 2. While we're doing the fast division, there'll be a lot going on. So we want to split the screen into two parts. On the page, which is what you'll be actually writing down when you're doing the calculations, and in your mind. These are all the calculations that should be going on mentally. Let's have a look at an example. Now you notice on the left hand side here, we have Wfig and PD. The Wfig is for the working figure, which is just an intermediate figure that we'll be calculating. And the PD is the partial dividend. It's actually part of the dividend, the 8,151, we'll be using a section at a time. The first step, we just look at the first digit of the divisor. In this case, that digit is 5. Now we have a look at the dividend. Now 8 is larger than 5, so we can divide that by 5. So we bring 8 down to our first partial dividend. Now we actually do the division. 8 divided by 5 is 1, we ignore any remainder. So 1 becomes the first digit of our answer. Now we actually use the 1 from the answer and the divisor. Now we have the 57 equals 1 on this side, but if we imagine that that now says 57 times 1, we'll now do our NT calculations based on that. So 1 times 5 is 0, 5. And 1 times 7 is 7, or 0, 7. Now, the n value is 0, 5. The t value is 0. So 5 plus 0 is 5. Now, what we do is we subtract this nt product, the 5, from our partial dividend. 8 minus 5 is 3. Then we put the 3 up as part of our first working figure. And then we bring the 1 down next to it. So our working figure is 31. Now we have to calculate the u value, so 1 times 7 is 7, so the u value is 7. We now subtract this u value from our working figure. So 31 minus 7 equals 24, and 24 becomes our second partial dividend. Now we repeat the process. We now divide the new partial dividend by the first digit of the divisor. So we have the 24 divided by 5 is 4. Again, ignore any remainder. So 4 now becomes our second digit of the answer. We'll ignore the 1 for this stage for two-digit divisors. So we'll have 57 equals 4. Imagine that's now 57 times 4. And we'll do the NT calculations. So 4 times 5 is 20. So the N value is 20. 4 times 7 is 28. So the t value is 2, so 20 plus 2 equals 22. We now subtract this nt product from the partial dividend. So 24 minus the 22 is 2. And we put the 2 up as the first part of our next working figure. And then we bring the 5 down next to it. 
so that we have a working figure of 25. Now we have to calculate our u value, so 4 times 7 is 28, so the u value is 8. We now have to subtract that u value from the 25, so 25 minus 8 equals 17. We now have our third partial dividend of 17. Now we have to do our partial dividend divided by the first digit of the divisor, as we've done before, so this time it's 17 divided by 5 is 3, ignoring any remainder. So the third digit of our answer is 3. We'll have a look at it as 57 equals 3. We'll imagine it's now 57 times 3. And we'll do an NT calculation. So 3 times 5 is 15. There's our N value. 3 times 7 is 21. The tens digit is 2, so our T value is 2. 15 plus 2 equals 17. Now we have to subtract this 17, the NT product, from our partial dividend. So 17 minus 17 is 0. So 0 goes up as the first part of our next working figure. We bring down the 1. Now we have to calculate our U value. So 3 times 7 is 21. The units figure is 1. So we now have to subtract this 1 from our working figure. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So our final partial dividend is 0. And what this means is that our answer of 8,151 divided by 57 equals 143 with no remainder. The final partial dividend is our remainder, if there is one. In this case it's zero, so we have no remainder. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. You can find out a lot more about the Trachtenberg system at trachtenbergspeedmath.com. We have free membership, hundreds of downloadable PDF worksheets. There are more videos and you can learn the entire Trachtenberg system online. Thanks for watching.